Say hello to my little friend. Oh my god, I sound like Borat when I'm trying to sound like Scarface. Anyways, this is the Lava Problems. You've all seen it. It looks very interesting. It has a very interesting aperture range from f14 to f40. It has a magnification from two times uh, to infinity. And it is very long <laughs> and interesting. And uh, the build quality feels great. It feels like a high quality lens. And uh, it better feel like that because it is so expensive. Another curiosity with this lens is that you get a built-in LED light at the front, but you have to power it yourself with a power bank. But you get this useful cable where you can adjust the strength of the light. And the light does a pretty good job of lighting whatever subject you're shooting. And uh, it helps that the working distance is very very short, so whatever you're shooting at high magnifications will be very close to the front of the lens. This isn't a lens for me by the way, I'm not that into videography and this lens is mainly for videography. But I want to try it because I tried all the other Lauva macro lenses. This light obviously does not give any beautiful lighting, it is too harsh, but uh, in emergencies it can be useful. And as you're seeing here, a problem with this LED light is it only lights uh, what's in front of the front element and not that much more. Everything around is just dark. So before we do more advanced video shooting, let's see how sharp this lens is. And here you can see me taking shots at two times magnification and you can see that the working distance is just a few millimeters, it's not very long at all. And uh, that is something you really have to consider with this lens, it's not really a lens for shooting insects and stuff because the working distance is so very small. But it is wide angle and when you get this close to a subject you can get some really cool perspectives. Especially with this very narrow front of the lens which enables you to get very close to the surface and in between stuff as I will show you in a few moments. Anyways the sharpness is impressively good especially considering the uh, max aperture of f14 which should give you some diffraction. But uh, I would say the optical qualities of this lens are really really good. I couldn't see any flaws. It is very sharp. I couldn't see any chromatic aberration or any other problems. I think the bokeh is really nice as well. Alright, let's do some serious video. I'm using a Godox LED 1000 as my primary light. And then I'm using a Godox SL60W as a secondary light with an umbrella as a diffuser. And I'm gonna show you some really cool video things you can do with this lens in a moment. But first, a message from our sponsor, which is me. <laughs> this video is sponsored by my newsletter. I have a monthly inspiration newsletter about photography, completely free. Go sign up for it uh, if you're curious about it. It is uh, very much about macro photography. Sign up at mwroll.com for my awesome newsletter. So. Let's look at what kind of video we can do with this lens. So I've watched some other videos about this lens and everyone seems to be using it for cool uh, slides uh, towards a subject through things. So I'm arranging my <laughs> small things here uh, in a very creative pattern. And uh, let's try to move through them towards uh, the main target here and, and see what kind of video sequence we can get. And this is really something that is pretty much impossible to do with any other lens in existence because uh, this is the narrowest macro lens uh, by far. So uh, with any other lens you couldn't do this because you would be uh, moving the things away. So this ability to move through very narrow passages combined with the wide angle of the lens gives this very cool perspective. What's not so cool is my lack of slider, <laughs> which makes the footage very, very shaky. Uh, I tried some other methods. First I tried a power bank, which didn't work that well either, but I'll show you some, some tricks for sliderless people in a moment. So this lens comes for Canon, EF, Nikon F and Sony FE and Pentax K and REP L mounts. So uh, I was actually using it uh, with an adapter uh, on my Sony camera. This is the lens for Canon and it worked very well. Since it is completely 
without electronic coupling, uh, you don't really need to have it for your own mount. Here you see my improvised MacGyver slider, a t-shirt folded. And as you can see it work, works very well, uh, a lot thanks to the barrel of the lens which is so even and long, so you can easily slide it on something like a t-shirt. And the front of the lens is actually waterproof, so you could stick it into liquids uh, if you wanted to, and uh, that could also give some very interesting capabilities. As I was playing around with this lens, I realized that this is a very specialized lens. You can pretty much only use it for some very special cases, but for those cases, uh, this is the only lens you can actually use. For example, if you want to film uh, some shot where you dive into something, for example a bottle or a, mm, a cup of pens, <laughs> you cannot do this with any other lens, because all the other lenses are much thicker, so you cannot get them inside things or through narrow passages. Uh, but if you don't have these very special needs, this is probably not the lens for you. It is also very very hard to use this lens. Because to get really good shots, you actually have to adjust the focus while you're sliding very, very evenly. And uh, this is not easy. Uh, I tried uh, <laughs> a few times myself and uh, yeah, it's hard to, to keep the focus right while moving the lens steadily. And one thing I found myself doing a lot was uh, by mistake adjusting the aperture when I wanted to adjust the focus. Uh, these two rings are very close to each other and they feel exactly alike. Uh, so that's a little bit of a downside with this lens. They could have made the rings, rings more distinct. Anyway, you can buy this lens with a follow focus kit so that you can uh, mount it to a really serious video rig and then you wouldn't have any problems like these. Uh, but here you can see some shots that I think look pretty cool and that I was able to do only using my t-shirt and my hands and with no experience in videography at all and just with like 10 minutes of practice. So it is really a fun toy if you have the money to <laughs> pay for it. Anyways, it is a very interesting design and this very long barrel is very useful for doing these kinds of shots, so clearly Lauva has been thinking this through. Uh, but it is not a lens for like everyday use where you go out to shoot insects and stuff that I like to do. It is not practical at all for that with a very short working distance and with a very long and unwieldy lens. Uh, but wouldn't it be very very cool to have a similar lens but a lot shorter? Imagine a lens with this very very narrow uh, barrel and a max aperture of maybe f8 that you could use for shooting insects very close to surfaces. That would be cool. As a last note, this lens has basically zero focus breathing. When you change focus uh, the framing stays exactly the same, which is of course also great if you're doing video. All in all, this lens is great if you have the need for it. As a last reminder, please go visit my Instagram. Uh, you can find me at mwroll on Instagram and there you have all my beautiful macro shots and whatnot. And also please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I post new videos about macro photography every week. That's it for this video, over and out, bye.